And so, uh, you know, as we see the natural disasters unprecedented globally and the destruction of things that are happening in the world, Jack addressed that. And I'd like to put him on right now for you to see exactly what he had to say about this day and age. This is up to date. These prophecies were all written 1900 years ago. And we are seeing them right now. And they're all signs that Christ is about to return. The earthquakes. One finds that in Matthew 24, verse 7, and Mark 13. Make sure he's, make sure he's got it right. You say Matthew 24, 7? Yeah. And then Mark, uh, he said Mark 13, 8. Yep. In verse 8, Jesus said, There shall be earthquakes in diverse places, many simultaneously happening. The United States Geodetic Service tells us we now have a million earthquakes and aftershocks annually throughout the world. In Revelation, and remember, it's Christ who said, I am speaking this through the Holy Spirit to the churches. And mentions these earthquakes in chapter 6 verse chapter 6 verse 12 there it is chapter 8 verse 5 12 chapter 8 verse 5 chapter 11 verses 13 and 19 and chapter 16 verse 18 wow listen to this one he said there was a great He's earthquake a such as was not since men were upon the face of the earth. So mighty an earthquake and so great. You think what we've heard is something? He said this is going to be the greatest earthquake in history. And where does it take place? In the Holy Land. How do I know? When Jesus was crucified, there was a horrendous earthquake on that day when he died for our sins. Matthew 27. Matthew 27. Oh, wait a second. Didn't we already see that? 54. On the morning of his resurrection, the earth shook. Matthew 28 2. But when he comes again, that's the greatest earthquake in history. Zechariah 14 4. His feet shall stick. of olives and the mount of olives shall split from east to west and shall fall sideways north to south never has there been like it never will there be another one like it in the future so don't worry about the los angeles and these places it's going to be when jesus returns and that could happen at any time and then rick Sella, all these tornadoes jesus said luke 21 26 men Luke 21, 26. His hearts will fail him. We're looking for what's going to come to pass on the earth. For the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And the tsunamis in Japan, 100 foot waves. What you say, Jesus? Luke 21, 25, nations shall be in distress with mass confusion, perplexity, because the sea and the waves are roaring. Is that the end of it all? No. What happens when it's happening? Verse 27, then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Do you notice that everything we're saying about signs ends with the return of the Lord Jesus. That's his coming to the earth. But seven years before that, we're going to be with him. We're going to miss most of this. Praise the Lord. Can you believe it? Uh, let's see. No. Or should I go? No. I'll go. I'm not buying that. Did you see that? The Lord. Into the earth. But seven years before that, we're going to be with him. We're going to be with him. Then 
shall we see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Do you notice that everything we're saying about signs ends with the return of the Lord Jesus. That's his coming to the earth. But seven years before that, we're going to be with him. We're going to... What? Seven years before this, we go to be with him. This, most of this, praise the Lord. Can I believe it more? But seven years before that, we go to be with him. We're going to miss most of what, what in the world is he talking about? So, yeah, let me slow down here. So, after these things that he talked about, then shall they see the Son of Man, that's Jesus, coming in a cloud with power and great glory. But he's saying seven years before this. That's his coming to the earth. But seven years before that, we go to be with him. We're going to. Seven years before that, we go to be with him. What he said. Oh, crying out loud. That's what he said. Okay, so we got. <clears throat> oh no, 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 no. Hold on a second. I got to do this right. All right, so in. Luke 21, talking about all these signs. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds, in the cloud, in a cloud with power, great glory. Okay, so powers of heaven shall be shaken. Let's focus on that. If you wanted, you could say, well, there's signs in the sun, moon, and stars. And then you could say, well, there's the power of heaven shall be shaken. And then you could take that and cross-reference, if you will, or connect the dots immediately after the tribulation. The sun shall be darkened, the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven. And, oops. And then in, in Luke it says, uh, signs in the sun and the moon and the stars. Right? So that's a parallel. We're connecting the dots there. The powers of the heavens shall be shaken in Luke. And then in, oh, I'm sorry, that's in Matthew. And then in Luke, powers of heaven shall be shaken. Powers of heaven shall be shaken. Powers of the heavens shall be shaken. I think we, I think it's fair to draw a connection there. And then in Matthew it says, Then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man, which is Jesus in heaven. And I think we can parallel that with, And then shall they see the Son of Man, Jesus, coming in a cloud of power and great glory. And all the tribes of the earth shall mourn, and they shall see Jesus coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great, great glory. And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. He sh they shall gather together his elect. This is after the return of Jesus. Where are you getting seven years before that? Is that in the, somebody's Bible and not mine? Where is this coming from? Saying about signs ends with the return of the Lord Jesus. Yeah. That's his coming to the earth. 
And seven years before that, we're going to be with him. We're going to miss most of this. Praise the Lord. What are you talking about? Where are you getting that at? Why, if you look at Matthew 24, Mark 13, Luke 21, there's no mention of that at all. What's he talking about? 